Picture this. A city-sized asteroid is heading towards moon and we are sending a nuclear warhead in a rocket to attack it. Sounds like science fiction, right? No. This is what engineers are running stimulation in NASA because few years down the line there is a non-zero chance that this asteroid which is a size of a small city is about to hit the moon. Hi guys, in today's video let's decode what actually NASA is doing by attaching a nuclear warhead to a rocket to hit an asteroid which is supposed to go and hit on the moon and what is its significance? Now all of you will be wondering why are we concerned about an asteroid hitting the moon? This has been happening for billions of years. That's why we are seeing craters on the moon. But see, today it has significance because once this city-sized asteroid goes and hits the moon, what happens? Debris will come. These debris can be situated in the moon's gravity only. If they are in the moon's gravity, they will be around the moon. Suppose they escape the moon's gravity, what will happen? These debris can come to earth and they can be present in the earth's gravitational area. Today, what is present in the Earth's gravitational area in the orbit? Satellites. Now, these satellites can be affected because in our everyday life for communication, for GPS, for maps, everything we need satellites and this will definitely affect all this and this is the reason why humans are showing interest in this asteroid which is going to hit the moon and they are also started to having some measures to prevent this from happening. Now, let's meet the asteroid. The YR4 2024 asteroid, this is actually an Apollo type of asteroid. What we mean by that is an asteroid which is crossing the path of the Earth's orbit, it's called as an Apollo type asteroid. This asteroid is about 20 million tons in weight and when it hits the moon, it will create a crater which is 2 kilometers wide and 400 meters deep. Also, this meteorite is traveling at a speed of 30 kilometers per second. Now, why are we all interested about this is though the chances of hitting the moon is not 100% or 50% is actually a non-zero chance. But you have to understand in back in 2013 when the Chelyabinsk meteorite deteriorated over Russia, it actually injured 1500 people. Here what we are projecting, the chances to hit is low. But if it hits, the dust can escape the moon's orbit and comes to the Earth orbit and it can affect communication everywhere. And this is the main reason we are showing interest in. Let's speak about why they are using this nuclear option. So when they use a nuclear device to go and blast there, what they are planning to do is you are not going to see some mushroom cloud and all coming there because there is no atmosphere there. What it is going to do there is it is going to disintegrate the outer part of the asteroid. What will happen? This outer part of the asteroid will be changing direction. That only will serve as a stimulus with recoil that it will just give a gentle nudge to this asteroid such that it will change its course. This they call in astronomy as standoff explosion. Now everybody's question will be, why can't we just take a space device like a rocket or something and go and crash it on the asteroid? Like for example, the DART mission in 2022 when NASA crashed a rocket into an asteroid and successfully they just moved it from actually its path. But in this case, we cannot do that because this YR4 rock is very big and it is not possible to actually create a rocket of that size such that they can change the path of YR4. On the other hand, a nuclear device will have large energy such that it can disintegrate the outer part of the asteroid and give a gentle nudge, something called as the standoff explosion and it can actually change its course. Most probable way they are going to do this is they are going to launch a Falcon rocket along with a nuclear warhead. This will travel to this YR4 which is traveling at a speed of 30 kilometers per second and approximately 500 meters from the surface they are planning to blast this nuclear device. Now what is going to happen? The standoff explosion is going to be caused and it is going to alter the course. See, they have decided this 500 meters because if they blast it above 500 meters, then what will happen? It is not going to affect the rock and it is going to come and crash on the moon. Now, if they go too close, that is less than 500 meters, something called as fragmentation can happen. That is, this rock will disintegrate into different pieces and instead of a single asteroid, you are going to have different asteroids striking different areas in the moon. So, this has to be done very precisely such that exactly at the designated distance and height from the asteroid, this nuclear device should go off. Also, there is an international ban on using nuclear devices in space. They have to get permission from that also. So, the ethical angle of whether to use nuclear 
nuclear device in space also should be thought about before starting to think about this process. Right now, we have a city killer asteroid headed towards the moon and our only option is a nuclear warhead to go and tackle it. We have also been ruled out of the other options by going and directly hitting it because we need a large rocket. Now, what is the problem here? Suppose this asteroid hits the moon, these debris are going to cross the moon's orbit and it will enter the Earth's orbit and it is going to disrupt communications as well as navigation so that we cannot leave it to happen. And the only option we have is a nuclear warhead. This nuclear warhead, if it blasts far away from the asteroid, it is not going to cause any effect. If it goes too close, it is going to cause fragmentation. Also, there is some politics involved in this and there is an international ban on using nuclear warheads in space. So there is a lot of issues which needs to be sorted out before 2028, which is the actual time we need to launch this warhead such that we can go and destroy this asteroid. Do like, share and subscribe me for more interesting videos.